Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm so excited today because I'm gonna be doing my very first tutorial. And today I'm gonna to show you guys how to crochet this adorable pretzel. Um, I had so much fun making this and I hope you guys will too. If you want, you can even turn this pretzel into like a pendant if you attach one of these pins on the back of it. Um, and I will tell you guys where I got um, all the supplies and uh, yeah, let's get started. It's such an easy tutorial. It's really so simple and I love it because it turns out looking um, really adorable and it looks a little bit more complicated than it actually is. So yeah, the first one that I made, I used Hobby Lobby yarn in Crafter Secret. It was a brown yarn, but for this one, I'm going to use Red Heart Super Saver in the color gold. I'm going to be using a 5 millimeter um, crochet hook, but you can change this. You can use whatever size crochet hook you feel more comfortable with. Personally, this is my favorite, but I know... Um, a lot of people prefer a four millimeter hook. You can use whatever you would like to use. The pretzel is just gonna come out a little bit smaller if you use a smaller hook or bigger if you use a, a bigger hook. Then of course you're gonna need scissors. And for these pins, I purchased a set on Amazon and it was, uh, I believe a case of a hundred. It was really cute. It came with like a plastic box. So I will link that in the description box below. It does come with two sizes just like these so for this one for the size that you know when I make it it comes out the size that I think the bigger one would be perfect but you will have little ones in that case too but uh, yeah I will link that in the description box below so let's get started on the actual tutorial all right so I'm gonna be pulling from the center and I'm just gonna pull some out so we have some yarn to work with there you go this is so easy if you know your magic ring this is gonna be like a piece of cake so if you don't know the magic ring i'm gonna try to explain it but there are a ton of wonderful tutorials on youtube but um, i will try my best to explain how to do it so the way i do it is i cross the yarn around the front so i'm crossing it and in the back it's like so I'll stick the hook under the first um, piece of yarn and take that second one under, flip it, and then pull that yarn through. So I hope that uh, explained it a little bit. I'm gonna do it a second time just so you guys can see it again. So I take the yarn, make an X, go under the first loop, take the second one and pull it through. And I am twisting my hook then I grab the working yarn and pull it through. So that is the magic ring. If you already knew how to do that, <laughs> then I'm sure it would be much, much easier. I am gonna link uh, videos of how to do the magic ring in the description box below as well. You just go through the chain. So you have the little tail and you're holding the circle at the same time. You go through the chain. This is your working yarn. So you're gonna pull that working yarn under and then you're pulling the working yarn again so let me start over so you pull the working yarn and then the working yarn one more time under both of these so that's one in this magic ring so i'm going to do that again so that's two three and then again i'm just holding the tail and the ring with uh, one, <laughs> two fingers, and then the working yarn with my other fingers. So I'm going through the ring, pulling the working yarn, and which leads me two loops. Then I pull the working yarn again and pull it through both. So that's four, five, and six. The hardest part of this pattern is done. <laughs> the rest is really, really easy. So now comes the magic part where you close up that ring and you should have one, two, three, four, five, six stitches. So each time where it's like a little V, so I'll show you like right here, this is a stitch. This is a stitch, you know, you have six of them on there. 
So like I said, the hardest part of this pattern is done. If you can recognize each of those Vs, now you're gonna work once into each of those. Just like that. So you're going under both loops so if I split it right here, you can see that there's two loops. So this would be your front loop. This would be your back loop. We're going under both of them, pulling that working yarn, and then the working yarn again under both. Just like that. So we have a magic ring. The way I did my pretzel was working six stitches into the magic ring you can make more stitches in your magic ring and your pretzel will just come out thicker on the sides and it's completely up to you i like it with six but i will say it is a little bit tedious to work with a smaller amount of stitches so for example six because it's going to create a tube so you have to work around the tube of six and i will show you guys in just a second what i mean and uh, it might be easier if you're kind of beginning uh crocheting it might be easier to start with um eight stitches in that magic ring instead of six but i'm gonna go ahead and do six so i have my magic ring with one two three four five and six stitches so i'm gonna work it in that first one and the way to make this pretzel is literally just creating a tube so working around each stitch just like you keep going i think i had about 35 rounds to make this size pretzel and i'm gonna go for something around the same size so all you have to do, this is your first round. All you have to do is work once into each of those six stitches 35 times. So 35 rounds. So just like that, it is so simple. And you don't need to stuff it. Because it's like pretty small, you don't need to stuff it at all. I mean, of course you can if you want to, but I didn't find it necessary. This project is actually really fun too because you don't have to count your rounds. You just need it to get to a, a length to where you can work your pretzel, um, the pretzel shape. So you really don't have to count the rounds. You just keep going until it's about, let me measure it when I get to that point and I will come back and let you guys know okay so I'm back I have this tube this was about 12 inches is what you need to get it to be this shape um, so I'm just going to finish off and then I will show you guys how to create the shape of the pretzel okay so the first thing you're gonna want to do is finish off and um, cinch these pieces together. So with a yarn needle, which I'm sorry, I forgot to mention, you will be needing that. Um, you're just gonna close off the six stitches and let me grab my yarn needle. Okay, so I have my little yarn needle. So you're gonna thread that yarn through. And the way that I close my, uh, any almost any project, is that I go through the front loops of each of the stitches and then pull it. So I'll show you guys just by going through the front. So you would have both of them right here, but I only go through the front. So that's two, three, four, five, and six and then I pull that closed so there we go and then if it kind of bunches up I'll try to hide that a little bit just like that and then I'll make a knot on it um, so it won't undo but to get the pretzel shape it's so easy all you have to do is
just go around like this so to sew this um, I mean you can sew it if you would like to or you can use glue for it for mine for the first one I sewed it and I think I'm gonna sew down this one too the pieces where you would need to sew it down are where they're overlapping so right here and then in the middle and then where this piece goes on here too that's where you would need to sew it in three places so that's what i'm gonna go ahead and do ultimately you can use glue on it if you want to because if you want to add one of these it's probably easier to add it with glue you can stitch it on because it does have those two holes but it's completely up to you this pretzel shape is really really easy to make i'll just show you one more time i just have my uh, tube and then I just you know place it on top either way it doesn't matter and you'll have a pretzel and you can kind of form it a little bit better so I'm gonna sew mine down so I'm gonna do that right now and then I will um, talk to you guys in a second Okay, so as you can see, I just, you know, tacked it down on each side with the, the yarn. And I just ended up pulling the yarn through um, as I went to each place. So I didn't have to make multiple knots. So I hope you guys were able to see that in the video. I just passed the yarn through like underneath or in the inside. So I only had to knot this once. So this was a lot of fun. I would say no sewing if you wanted to use glue. Um, you don't have to sew any pieces to it. You just have to tack it down. So it's a really fun kind of no sew project. I am going to add this to it, but I'm not sure which size to use now because this one did come out a little bit smaller. Maybe I'll use probably the bigger size because it's going to be, you know, a little bit heavy. Um, they did come out different sizes, same amount of stitches and same amount of rows. This was using Red Heart Super Saver and this was using Hobby Lobby's I Love This Yarn. The I Love This Yarn from Hobby Lobby is thicker. So that's why they came out different, but um, I love both of them just the same. Um, I really wanna do these in different colors. You can always add, um, if you wanna stitch on sprinkles, you can do that or just stitch white on it and that can represent salt. So there's a lot of different things you can do with these pretzels. I really, really hope you enjoyed this um, tutorial and I hope that it was helpful for you guys. I do want to say this was, again, my first tutorial, so I know I have a lot to learn, but I'm excited to make more. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to me um, through my social media or my email. Everything for that will be linked in the description box below as well as the uh, materials that i use for this project i would love to see if you guys made pretzels i would love to see them you can tag me anywhere or send pictures to me that would um totally totally make my day so i might be making some more pretzels <laughs> i just have a lot of fun making them so thank you so much for joining me and i will see you guys hopefully in a new tutorial soon